Dude, it's fantastic. I don't, I don't know. I'm all over the place with this. Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Welcome to the Whiskey Ramp podcast. It's a little crusty. It's frustrating. And it's going to be a little bit of a rant. I don't understand it. I don't know why. Some sort of injustice. Anyway, end rant. Hello and welcome back to the Whiskey Ramp podcast. I'm Jeremy. I'm Rob. And tonight we have a very special review for you. It's the Springbank 30-year-old. Yeah, this is just a... Springbank 30-year-old review whiskey rant. Just a review, we were lucky enough. Someone in the whiskey community, a good friend of ours, reached out to us. They were fortunate enough to be able to purchase a Springbank 30-year-old, and they're like, hey, I don't see any reviews of Springbank 30 on WhiskeyTube. Do you guys want to review Springbank 30? And our response was, you have me at S. <laughs> Spray. Or sp <laughs> um, so of course, um, one amazing thing about the whiskey community is that people are super, super generous yeah. with their bottles and someone was um, obviously very, very generous enough to reach out to us Ridiculous and be like, hey, do you want the heel of my bottle? Pour it, review it, let me know what you think. And I'm like, yeah, for sure, let's do a video on that. We pulled the, f well, I poured the full heel, like evenly. Which, you know, even wasn't the problem. Okay, it was, so. <laughs> it was the fact that this is like a full, This is a is very, it, this is a very generous heel. Um, this is, you know, what, like, like four, a, like at least four ounces yeah, or more. Yeah, that's gonna be two ounces at Yeah, least. and you're just like, oh, I'll just pour the whole thing. YOLO, let's do the, let's, let's chug it down. <laughs> I don't know about chug it down. This has been <laughs> opening up for a good 40 minutes already. Okay, so if you're unaware, Spring Make 30 came out in 2022. Um, the oldest official bog that Spring Make's come out with in the last, however many years. Lots of years, right? They haven't had a 30-year-old official bottling in, in a long time. Have I ever told you the story about, well, you, you probably saw the video and laughed at me when I did the unicorn bottles. The unicorn bottle Oh, video. didn't you like have a unicorn that didn't even exist in the world? It's or? like a Springbank 35-year-old that was like a one-off okay. from like a couple years, yes. maybe six years before, or five okay. years before, and I like, just goes to show the complete ignorance at the time of like what existed in the Springbank world and the Campbelltown world. Yeah. And now, full circle. Full we're, circle. We're Here we are. trying a 30 year old Springbank. We're, we're super fortunate. We've, <laughs> we've had more than a lifetime of fortune come to us already. Yeah. And in the just because world, people are so sure. generous to us. Um, yeah. So we're super grateful. Mm -hmm. Springbank 30. Um, 46% ABV, non chill filtered, no added color, of course. This is 85% expert matured, 15% sherry cask. 15% sherry cask. It doesn't say fresh sherry, so we don't have to assume that it's first fill. Um, secondary market price on a bottle like this, you're looking at the current UK market, you know, around 2,500 British pounds, you know, $4,000 Canadian ish. Um, Maybe not as much as you might think normally for Springbank, but um, as of right now, it's like double double to 2.5 times retail. This would be a cool experiment to have like side by side with the 28, but the, I think the 28 with the higher ABV might kind of drown this one out. First of all, first on the nose, um, the malt characteristic really shines in this thing. I'm Surprising. getting a lot of that Springbank characteristic maltiness here. Yeah, you can definitely get the age on the nose because <clears throat> it's definitely like a honey, like ironed out kind of mm. like sweetness to the nose. Yes. No bite whatsoever. Absolutely not. It's very delicate, yeah. refined yes. kind of nose for sure. Uh, citrus, lots of like beautiful, beautiful citrus nose coming through. Something like vaguely floral in there. Yes, for sure. Like I don't want to call it lavender, but in that like like a a very subdued maybe lavender, and like a little bit of like that Dunnage cold rock, yeah, basement, but not over impactful. I would say no, and like what what makes like a the Italian cantina is like those like cured meats that you just like keep hanging in there, right? Mm. Yeah. If like someone opened the door and you're like really really far away and you kind of get that width, you walk by. Yeah, it's kind of that like cured meat, but like really distant. Right. Distant, a little bit of like distant. saltiness maybe mm -hmm. coming through. Yeah. Yes. Lots of elegance on this thing. Yeah. Definitely complex. Yeah. Not like a spring bank that I've really noticed before. No, I'm trying to like make a mental comparison with 
like I said, the, the Springbank 28 that we tried, some of the Springbank 25s we've tried, some of the Springbank 21s, mm -hmm. and I can't really like link no. it. They no, because this is like more like with the 85% bourbon, 50% sherry, this is more of like a makeup that you'd find in a 10-year-old. Yeah, it's probably exactly the makeup you would find in a 10-year-old. Actually, I, I would love to, maybe we should have looked that up right before. To see what the 10-year-old is? Yeah, I think the 10-year-old is, is, is pretty close to this. 15? I don't know if it's 85-15, but I would say maybe that 70, 30. it seems like majority is ex-ex bourbon. Oh yeah, I would say majority is ex-bourbon for sure. I almost thought at some point that it was an almost entirely ex-bourbon 10. Yes, um, I think they do put a bit of sherry in there, but I'm not 100% sure. And of course it changes year to year, although the 10-year-old seems like it's the most consistent compared to the other core range uh, bottlings. Oh wow. So there is like a beautiful, you ever have those like fried kind of donuts? Like they're like, Oh yeah. But like fresh donut. It's like almost like a homemade donut. You ever have like a homemade donut and that like nice, like oily sugary smell that you get with like the mix of like, I guess wheat or whatever, like the, yeah. the bread is the dough. So it's that doughy, but like, oily and sugary no all in one shot that i got there yeah the sweetness that it is like a cane sugar like people say barley sugar yeah there's it's, this like kind of crystallized like sugar note to this i love these glasses for nosing like i'm finding that i'm getting a lot more out of this than that maybe if we would have poured in something else yeah so this is a crystal what kind of glass is this it's meant for rums yeah it's like a rum glass but it's got a nice tulip to the top so i mean you know what glass this reminds me of? Our good friend um, at whiskey.com, Looning, Horst yes. Looning. Yeah. They came up with their own kind of style of glass. It's a very kind of similar to this, actually. Might be a little skinnier theirs. They have like, more of like a, a drawn out a lip to it, but yeah. you get a really nice nose from this. Cheers, and thank Cheers. you to our friend. Yes, thank you so much. I'll talk as you sip. But yeah, um, <clears throat> Very elegant on the nose for sure. You're right, I get that doughy kind of note to it now. Wow. Almost like a sourdough even maybe. That is ridiculously viscous. Mm. Like literally wraps around your tongue and just like hugs it. So right off the hop you get that oh, like wow. kind of doughy fried dough sugar, like malty I guess. I don't know why it's still malty at 30 years old, but it is Ooh. really sweet, but not like sickly sweet by any means, mm -hmm. just the right amount of sweetness. Um, yeah, wow, it's very interesting. The nose is very well recreated on the palate. And you're right, the viscous is, is very f through the roof. Maybe a little more like fruity on the palate. Raspberry comes through to me. That raspberry drizzle. I get raspberry, yeah. Yeah, it's like a, like a drizzle, like you said. Maybe Very like, like dessert drizzle, raspberry yeah. sauce, yeah. But again, back to that fried donut, like mm. that donut, that malty, like sweet, fried, oily kind of note I'm getting on the palate. That's delicious. That is delicious. It is straight delicious. Yeah. It is very, very good. Mm. This is incredibly like destroyable. Like <laughs> it's you, too drinkable. Yeah, it like, is very. You drinkable. could just sit down with a bottle of this, and before you know it, you're yeah, like a quarter of the bottle is gone. Yeah, yeah, wow, it's great. It, the finish is is pretty long too. Like I'm still tasting it. That was like after my second sip. We're talking like almost a minute later, if not more. I'm still tasting it. So it's not like I need to go back to get that taste. It's not like I just want to go back because it's so good. Yep, the honey, the floral, all coming through. Spice level, not too much. No. Not too much on the spice. Back palette maybe? Like may, in, I feel a little bit of heat, a little bit of heat in my throat. Mm -hmm. But like it's not like a harsh heat of any sort, obviously. This is really, really like easy drinking, not harsh mm -hmm. in any way shape or form but yeah it's in the back of the throat like a nice hug like a hot hug or a heated hug or something like that <laughs> Campbelltown funkiness 
Subdued, I think. Yeah, I'd say like a one out of five for Campbelltown funkiness. From what you're used to? It definitely... I'm not surprised that it's Springbank by any means. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but... At 30 years, you're thinking like that profile gets really like thinned out. Yeah. Yeah. It, it drinks older than that 28-year-old that we had not that long ago. It does drink older than that. And it's only two years, so you wouldn't think that that would be the case. This is the oldest spring bank that we've had. Yeah, 30 years old is. There's not many spring banks that are older than this. I can, the only ones I can think of right now are those really old uh, local barleys. They were like 32, 35, 36, what, 37, like 38, that. Yeah. right? The um, the twelve year old that we had had older Springbank in it that was older than thirty. Right. But we don't know how old, right? And there was some twelve in there as well. This is better than any of the twenty five year olds I've ever had. I'm trying to think of is it better than the twenty eight? And I'm I'm gonna go yes. Is it better than the the Springbanks that? See the problem. The I guess it's only knock, which I guess is not really a fair knock is. It's not incredibly spring banky. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is the most elegant spring bank that we've had. Yeah. Like the subtleties in this aren't seen in what we've tried before from spring bank. Like the 28 is not a, it's not a subtle whiskey. No, no, it's, it's not hot, but it punches you. Yeah. Whereas this is like no heat. Mm. It's, it was like the packaging, the elegance. It was designed to be this way, I think. Yes, this is like a like a easy drinking champagne version of Springbank. It looked like the box says champagne. The color looks champagne. It's beautiful. The box is, and I'm I'm very interested to hear the rationale as to why they went 85% bourbon cask. It, I mean, I understand that tasting it, but like. Do they know that they just have something really special in their bourbon casks at that age? Yeah, so we're looking at 1,400 bottles produced of this uh, this batch, this release. I mean, how much, they probably only have that much like 30 year old whiskey that's ex bourbon, right? Mm -hmm. Like how many 30 year old sherry casks do they have? We don't know. I would think, I would think that they have a few, but they do bottle the 25 year old every year. They bottle the 21 year old every year. Mm -hmm. How much slips up to the 30 year range? Are they, is this going to be a regular release or is this a one off? Good question. Maybe it appears to be a core range. You love the packaging <clears throat> and the color. I don't, I don't, don't like, I, I do not. Okay. I do not. I don't like Flash. spring bank. No, I don't like spring bank packaging. I don't like the, the way it looks. I love their bottles. Um, their bottle is like my the favorite text. Bottle. I do like their bottle. Um, but I don't care. I mean, like, it means nothing to me. Yeah. It means absolutely it's nothing. It's I don't, I don't care about packaging. I don't care how the, the label looks. I don't care about the text. I'd be fine if Springbank changed their bottle to, like, a round. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I should, dare right. I say, Blanton's kind of bottle. <laughs> I'd be fine with whatever they decided because... It doesn't, don't, it don't, it doesn't matter. We don't lot, buy our whiskeys based it, it on it the doesn't, bottle. I don't care. No. Um, a lot of people don't like, you know, the Glenallachy text. It looks like, you know, um, yeah. old Egyptian style text. Yeah. They don't like it. I don't like it either. I don't care. But I don't care. Mm. Right. I guess that's it. I've, I've learned to love it just because I love the product. Mm -hmm. Not because I love the, the... I don't give a shit about the packaging. Mm -hmm. Like, that's never been my interest. Right? But... When I get a box, I keep it till I open the bottle and then I throw the box out. It's, I find it so hard to do a review on on like one dram of a whiskey and I'm finding it harder and harder as whiskey tube goes on and I know this is technically like two drams but like this is really nice it's very nice it's just it's really nice is it like the most complex spring bank we've had I don't think it's the most complex it's, not, it's definitely not the most complex spring bank we've had it's definitely not the most complex whiskey we've had uh, there's a whiskey to your left that is much more complex than this. This is this is achieving, I think, what they wanted to achieve, which is an just, elegant, really refined, subtle version yeah. that uh, still highlights their 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 distillate. Yeah. 
I love that it still gives you that texture that you want. It's got that viscosity that you want. It's not. Yes. It's not. It's not just gonna fall in your palate, swallow, done. Mm -hmm. You don't get any finish, any whatever. There's a viscosity here that screams, we care about what we're doing versus like the the Macallans mm -hmm. that are you know just oh yeah this is really smooth this yeah. is uh, you know 25 year old Macallan it's incredibly smooth and tasty but you can sip it and forget what you tasted three seconds later this is you're not forgetting like I still taste hmm. spring bacon and I probably will until I put something else you know I eat something or taste something else this is just super delicious I think the balance between that really good sweetness which is very upfront yep. Um, yep. mixed with like that multi characteristic and the citrus and that little bit of fruit in there it's very very faint but it just adds a nice little depth of layer yeah I think people getting this bottle like a obviously this is not geared towards guys like you and I this is a this is what 2200 bucks retail so yeah retail prices vary um, if you're talking Canadian dollars, yeah, around 2000 to 2500 is what you were looking at if you're lucky enough to purchase this. Yeah. And like we said, secondary market is essentially double that. Yeah. So, great. Um, you know, it's not meant for, like, we, if we were gifted the heel of this bottle, there's no chance we would ever be able to try this. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much, by the way. Um, but it's geared for that kind of price point, like capable people. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, and it's funny because this is Springbank's way of being a little cheeky in my opinion. Like this is geared toward the people that like, you know, have lots of money that if they buy this bottle and they serve this to their friends that also have lots of money, they, their friends are going, oh, this is excellent. I love this. This is fantastic. Yes. Incredibly smooth. All these different things. But it's the cheekiness comes in the fact that the whiskey geek would absolutely adore this as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is not just for the high roller. Yeah. This is maybe the high roller, but the high roller that knows a thing or two about whiskey. You know what I mean? The nose is so good. The palate is so good. Um, it's hard to, like, I'm trying to think. You want to compare this to, like, you said the 25. So let's compare it to the 25, because we absolutely fell in love with the 25 that came out in 2019. 19. Yep. That was one of the best spring banks we've ever scored. Yep. We've also loved the 21 that came out in 19 and 20. And 2020. The 2020 was the dark one. I still have up there, actually. Yeah. So. But those are different. I mean, like, different. you can't, okay, first of all, you can't compare the 21. It's completely different. It shouldn't even be compared to this. The 25 you can maybe compare it to. I th viscosity wise, this blows those out of the water. I don't remember the. The 25 having this kind of viscosity. Maybe you're right. Maybe the viscosity on this is more than the 25. Maybe the maybe the flavor punch and all that different stuff was more on the 25. Yes, I would say so. But the viscosity, and that that's also because you and I lean toward a nice sherry dram, mm -hmm. right? So that's playing a factor too. But that 2019 was sherry and port, right? Hmm. I'll put it on the screen. Yeah. We don't want to get it wrong, but yes. I'm pretty sure it was Sherry and Port. Maybe something else too, right? The 20, the 2020, 21 year old was like a few different, like yeah. rum, this, that, whatever. It was super dark. Um, but the viscosity of this whiskey is unreal. And for me, the 21, 2019 was my favorite, like spring bank, aside from the local barley 10 that was, you know, like cast strength yeah. just punch you in the face mm -hmm. um and that and that that eight-year-old that we both really like as well the um society release oh yes. yes the 28 i think this is better than the 28 i think this is better than the 28 the um the society release yeah i mean it's hard to compare them for me because this is a different this is a different bottling i mean like yeah, it's similar in age, but that 28 was like of a, a many different casks, different it, types of casks. Yeah, uh, bottle wise, they're around the same. Pause for one second, we're gonna cut. So, here's a bit 
left of the 28. Should we pour a little bit to kind of do oh, a quick little? Shall we? Shall we pour a shall little? Shall we? But like this 28 year old has, you know what, four different cast types, correct? Four different cast types. You're right. So this is... The 28 year old. Sherry, the 28 year old is Sherry, uh, Hogshead and Butt. Okay. Bourbon barrel and rum barrel. Okay. So, four so barrels. Two four barrels. Two sherry, two, one bourbon. Okay, one. so let's say probably Oloroso and PX. And it's 48.2%. Could be PX, could be just Oloroso. Oh, that's really nice too. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately change your mind. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's hard to compare. It's so hard. Right? It's yeah. always, but it's, that just goes to show you the the trouble in doing reviews on a whiskey. Mm -hmm. So this is way on more on the fruity side of things. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I also got different. like the only thing. It's my much own, different. My only drawback to this twenty eight is that piney note that I get. Mm -hmm. I don't. I get a little bit of like maybe that's from the rum cask. I will say the thirty has zero off putting notes. It's just straight elegance, deliciousness. Yeah nose to finish it's delicious really it's nice. more complex than the than the 30 but the the 30 is more drinkable does that make sense yes I they're would, both fantastic. i would agree the they're 30 both, is more drinkable they're both fantastic the 30 is more of a pour and play at 30 years old and mm -hmm. 2200 bucks mm -hmm. um the society release is more of a intricate, not an everyday whiskey. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it's great. I don't know. It's this is a bold bottling of Springbank. This is an elegant bottling. Exactly. Spring this is, like I said, this was the cheeky one. This is the one meant yes. to satisfy the masses, but the the hardcores would still love it. Yeah. This was meant for the hardcores. That's okay. it. Yeah, right. I agree with that. Which one's better? It's tough, right? It is tough to say. I mean, it, in they're, like I said, it's it, they're not comparable. This is fifty percent sherry. We do tend to lean towards sherry as well. If you're gonna give me a full bottle of each, which one would I take? I would take the twenty-eight. Gives you more ABV. Gives you more sherry influence. I think that this thirty-year-old can be compared to those twenty-fives that we really, really liked. Because I think that it shares a lot of elements with those ones. Those 25s are like a more refined version of Springbank, right? The yeah. 21s weren't. The 21s were bold. They're, the 21s are bold like this is bold. This doesn't drink as old as the 30. You can tell the 30's older. Why? Mm. I don't get that. It's only two years. Well, obviously, cast difference and all that other stuff. This is sweeter. <laughs> I don't know how it's sweeter, but that's a sweet dram. That's even sweeter. Would you say that there's maybe older than 30 year old uh, stuff in here? There but could, like substantially could, older, perhaps. There could very well be older whiskey in, in 30. It does feel like there is a little bit of that. In the society, that's a tough one, man. I don't even know if I like it. Now that I'm, I love that 28. That 28 is fantastic. I don't, I don't, I'm all over the place with this. this I was going to say, can we rewind when you're like, this blows the 28 away, this blows the 20, 25s away? This is better than any of the 25 year olds I've ever had. I no, I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't think it blows any, like, any of those away. I, okay. think, I think it's a step above the 25. I do think that. Not for, not for 1200 bucks. Not for 13 or 1400 bucks, which is what probably what it would be, right? For five extra years, 1400 bucks, nah. No. Okay. Hard pass. Are you ready to score? I mean, I know you're not, and neither am I, but we should give a score to this based on what we've tried so far. This is where I'm at. I'll go first. Mm -hmm. um, the Springbank 25s, we reviewed, I think, the 2019. I maybe reviewed the 2020 as well. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure my score for that 25-year-old was a 92.5, which I think is the highest official score I've given to Springbank. I don't think I included this one. I think I'm right there with this. I think I'm 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 gonna say that this is a this is a ninety two point five for me, the thirty year old. It's it's the same. I was scored the same as that twenty five. That's fair. I think that the the enjoyment factor is the exact same for me. It's a different whiskey. I'm getting different things I enjoy about it. Um that twenty five I loved. This I also love. 
Right. It's, the, it's the same score for me. I'm, t- I'm 92 and a half. 92 and a half. Yeah. Okay, yep. so think about your score then for this. What would that be? It'd be a half tick higher. Half tick higher. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm on the opposite. Okay, so I think that this is a little better than 25. A little bit better. Okay. So, I think I... Man. I agree with your half take higher on this. I think this is a little bit better. Okay. Yep. But I don't really do half takes. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give them both a 93. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give them both a 93. I think this is a 93. This is fantastic. And even better now than it was when we last tried this. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, okay, our scores are not encompassing the price. Right? No, of course. Like we would, if the price is a, is a thing, we would take the 25 every single time. Absolutely. Because for a half a tick for, I, I might've given the 25 a 93 back yeah. then. I don't remember what I gave it. Yeah. Um, so I might've given the 25 a 93. I'm going to say that this is a 93 based on today's standard scoring for me. 93 is a super high score for us. We don't give hardly anything 93s. Um, yeah. You know. Like, what would would what I could, what would I say? Take this or the Spring Bank Fifteen for one hundred and fifty bucks. I'm taking the Spring Bank Fifteen all day. Or actually, I'm gonna take ten of those. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, like, I'll take twenty of them. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'd rather take twenty Spring Bank Fifteens than one of these. Let's say that. Let's let's rewind in in time. Okay, let's say that we were lucky enough to be able to purchase a bottle of Springbank 30 at retail. Okay, you buy it. You open it right away and drink it? Yeah, so I, I definitely. 100%. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> Regret the purchase? Probably. For for 2,200 bucks, that's a lot of money, man. Yeah. I would probably regret the purchase. And that's crazy to say, because it's a 93, yeah. but I don't have the kind of money to be throwing Twenty two hundred bucks at a ninety three. Mm-hmm. If this was a ninety seven, then twenty two hundred bucks <laughs> doesn't seem like a lot. This is of a Jack money. Daniels bonded. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, right? But even I think because it's, I bet you, if we had a second sit down with this, we our scores might go down a little bit, not a lot, but I bet you we wouldn't be as hyped up and and feel maybe it would go down a point, maybe it would. You know, even original those those Spring Bank twenty fives. I bet if we remark them now, it would go down a point or two, right? So, I think all that considered, I'm a ninety three without thinking about the price. I'm probably a ninety one or lower thinking about the price. Yeah, and I'm trying to think back, and I think I did take a half mark off for value when I when I scored the twenty five year old. And that was at a good value because I was like, you know, the the twenty one. I think I'm, I'm only, I'm at like a 91 of the 21. So it's like, I'm a point or a point and a half more, but like, it's so much more money. Yeah. Right. And, th- and this is double. This is even more than that. This yeah. is, so now the Spring Bank 25 is more around the, like the 800, 900 mark. Yeah. And this is like you said, almost 2,500 bucks. It's delicious. I just took another sip of it and I'm like, wow, that's incredible. But for the price, I, you know what? I think... I think maybe taking two points off is crazy for the price. If you if if twenty two hundred bucks is no problem for you, then mm-hmm. this is a ninety three for sure. Mm-hmm. If if twenty two hundred bucks is like, don't buy just don't buy this if this is not like you're gonna find a ninety for a fraction of the price. Yeah, you know. So don't don't go after that ninety three. I mean, like if you had every single core range spring bank lined up on a table with retail prices for yeah. what they were. What are you picking? Are you picking like a 19, 21 year old for that price? Like, what are you, what are you, what are you choosing to buy? Society, not in the question. What do you core range in the last five years from Spring Bank? Best value? What are you looking at? If honestly, and I can get any of them, just one or just one, just one, any one you want retail price for what it was at the time of release. What are you picking? For me, it's still that Spring Bank 10 local barley. Just because it's like, mm. it punches you in the face with that cash strength. It's heavy shit. Yeah. I love it. It's all kinds of Spring Bank characteristic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I love that whiskey. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to go back to 
the 16 year old local oh, barley yeah, that would different. be the purchase yeah okay fine right that, if you if i can go by that, that, that far purchase. that's probably the best spring bank we've tried i think for me you say that's that local barley i'm going that 2019 21 year old i do love that whiskey i so love that much. too i love that whiskey that whiskey so is much. phenomenal i do love that whiskey a lot that 20 that 2019 uh, 21 year 21 year old was very, i think it was poured nice. and rum now that i think yeah i think so it was Port good rum it was fantastic good. it was whiskey. good Fantastic whiskey. Yeah. And that, but they both made 400 my top. bucks, right? I'm talking about uh, around 400 Canadian. Yeah. I think that's where, where the issue is for me is that like to throw around 400 bucks. Worth it. We, it's worth it for worth sure. It. It's worth it. If someone was gifting me a bottle, I'd probably ask for that one. I'd probably ask for that no, one. No, no, we're not. We're not. We were saying you have to pay the retail price. If you have to pay the retail price, I'm going to that. I'm going to the, the local barley tent. And what was that retail? It's like 180 bucks. 180? Maybe less. Maybe Half the price. Maybe 150 bucks. Uh, that's a good point. Half the price. Right? 180 bucks, I think it was. Half the price, yeah. Right? But 16 local barley still. That's the king. It was... It, it, on my list of top 10, I think it, it goes a little higher than the local barley, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, that local barley is 16, man. That was a that was an outlier, and that's the problem with because we had and that was like two thousand. We, we split two ounces of that. It was like two thousand sixteen. Was that two thousand seventeen? Something lower, yeah. Did we split two ounces of that, or we split one ounce of that? We might have split two ounces. I think we split two ounces. Yeah. Right. So, like, we're having more time with this thirty year old yeah, than we did with that. Yeah, that's true. So I hate doing that. Like, even the even the the one that Mike and Narby sent to us that was a twelve year old. Mm. But it had like thirty plus year old whiskey in it. A nineties bottling, yeah. Like it's so hard to review something that's a half an ounce or an ounce or like, you know, like I just yeah. find that that's totally not fair to the liquid. Man. The sweetness on this It's crazy, right? I don't know if I had like a this experience with like that sweet sugar characteristic. No. That's what I mean. That's coming from the bourbon cask for sure. Really good bourbon casks. You can tell these are good. Bur I mean, Springbank has good casts, but this one definitely highlights that ex bourbon. Obviously, it's eighty five percent ex bourbon. Yeah, I would say I'm, I'm going back to the. I don't even know. Yeah, probably this is a tick better because it, it kind of appeals more to our palate. But mm -hmm. the quality in this glass, like Man. something needs to be said about that. Yeah, I think like you know what. You buy this bottle for the retail price, okay, like, it's, maybe it's not worth other spring banks you've had, but honestly, you're not going to be disappointed with this. It's it really, really nice. Okay, I guess a better question is, in that price range, what would you replace it with? Hmm. Like, you're not, you're not going to take 20, the Macau 25-year-old over that. No chance. No. No, no, no. no. Not the right. new Macau. The new Macau 25-year-olds are not worth the price. The old Highland Park 30, I probably would take over this. Oh, that is a great comparison. Because right? I just sipped that not too long ago. And that's so good. It's it is very, very good. Honestly, so good. though, if, okay, without price, I would take this over the Highland Park Really? 30. Yep. Yep. The, the viscosity is heavier on this, yes. for sure. Like, yes. there's a heavy sugar. Yes. I love that kind of, like, I, I love the elements that the Highland Park 30, the old Highland Park 30, bring to the table. Because mm -hmm. it's that, like crazy like salty like different kind yeah. of flavor we're getting a little off to topic here but this is a long review but it should be a long it review. has to be it should be a long review and you know what we gave our scores earlier so if if you clicked already. off you got the score <laughs> you clicked it. off um but yeah i mean like the highland park 30 spring bank 30 what a what a, what a great problem to have you know, trying to decide who's who, what, what is better. Absolutely, what's better. I hate, I guarantee you, viscosity on this is better. Is better than the, the Highland Park Thirty. Dude, viscosity. I would put this the viscosity of this whiskey. I would put this up against like anything, <laughs> like seriously anything. I love how you're like, oh, I just poured the whole thing, but I just it's gone. I drank I, the, I drank the whole thing. It's, it's gone because it's, it's delicious. It's crushable. It's so crushable, but it's not crushable in the like I said this already. It's not crushable because it's just like you sip, you lose the taste, you need to go back to mm -hmm. it. It's not crushable that way. It's crushable in the sense that it's so tasty. Mm -hmm. It's so tasty. It's unique. I think the problem with marking whiskey as a whole is 
not everything is gonna like we're always trying to recreate that experience that made us go wow yeah. about a whiskey like so something a little bit more fruity or this or that might outweigh this even if it's not as good quality yes and i think that's what's happening here mm -hmm. and there yeah right this isn't from a technical standpoint this is not as good as this mm. but it's tastier because it appeals to us more sure does that make sense yes like the fruit notes explode off your palate exactly this. something like this like there's nothing exploding off your palate it's more like refined it's just elegant balance yeah. elegance to it viscosity so, like this yeah. this crazy tech like it's more it's it's the com that comparison of that raw talent versus that like crazy mm. technical yes. like individual like whatever right, right? Yes, yes yes so that's what's happening here it's yes. it's elegance versus uh just raw beauty mm. you know what i mean mm. like yeah. yeah i think that's the best way to describe that that's a great way to to end this video Spring 30 thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity to be fortunate enough to try this yeah um, that was awesome thank you so much man you know we're we're too fortunate. We are very fortunate. We're too lucky. We're, we're too very, fortunate. We are very fortunate. But um, what we can do is we can pay it back. You know? Pay it forward. Pay it forward. Have that guy come over here one day and have some drams with us. You know what? I did give him a sample of the Brora 38-year-old. Oh, wow. There you go. You know? Yeah. Um, a whiskey that I would consider one of my all-time favorites. It's the highest score I've ever given, so... You know, at least he gets a little something in return. Um, but again, like, yeah, like, this the this was makes the whiskey community so great is the the sharing, the appreciation, and uh, just getting someone else's opinion on something is is fun. Cheers, dude. And, Cheers. Uh, thank, thank you so, so much. much. We're so fortunate, and thank you for making this opportunity for us. Uh, we would never try without you. So thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really much appreciated. Have a good one. Cheers.